hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to solve day 23 problem of this month only code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so today i'm going to solve problem number 592 fraction addition and subtraction okay so in this problem we have given a string expression representing an expression of fraction addition and subtraction we have to return the calculation result in the string format okay so the final result should be an irreducible fraction if your final result is an integer change it to the format of a fraction that has a denominator one so in this case two should be converted to two divided by one okay so two is nothing but my numerator and one should be my denominator okay so this is how we need to return our output okay so see this example number one so here this is the expression okay so minus one by two plus one by two okay so here uh, if i just solve this so uh, see how we are going to solve so here uh, two and here minus one plus one okay and the output is going to be zero by two okay so zero by two and both zero and one both are going to have same output right so I have to reduce it okay so the final result should be an irreducible fraction okay so this is what we need to do here okay so instead of writing 0 divided by 2 we can write it 0 by 1 okay so then uh, see this expression minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 okay so how I'm going to do this so first let's solve this part this part okay so here I'm going to write like this minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 okay then 2 minus 1 plus 1 okay so here what is the result that i am getting i am getting uh, 0 by 2 okay then 0 by 2 plus this 1 by 3 okay now add this in the output okay so here i need to write 2 into 3 is 6 okay this is my denominator and here i have to write 0 into 3 right this is how we solve the problem right and uh, here we i need to write 1 into 2 right common math 1 into 2 okay so the output is going to be 2 by 6 okay so now i have to reduce this okay so here uh, we need to actually uh, apply gcd here so i can write it like this 2 1 by 3 right because 2 is the greatest common divisor for both of them okay so how we are going to calculate gcd okay so let's understand first that okay so let's say we have two numbers 36 and 60 okay and I want to calculate the GCD of these two numbers. Okay, so there is one simple formula for this. Okay, so until my this number becomes zero. Okay, until let's suppose this is my, uh, a and this is b. Okay, so until this becomes uh, zero. Okay, I have to perform few things. Okay, so here the, right now this a value is not equal to zero. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to update this a with b modulus of a okay so here i am uh, going to find the gcd using euclidean okay so this is very well known uh, algorithm okay euclidean algorithm okay euclidean algo okay so using this we are going to find the gcd data common divisor okay so here i am just doing that uh, b modulus with a so here b value is 60 and do it's the modulus with uh, 36 so what is the output that i'm going to get here so now next time what i need to do here uh, I have to update my B to previous value of A. So previous value of A was nothing but 36. Okay. So this is going to be my new uh, A and B. Okay. So A is 24 and B is 36. Okay. So again, I have to do this since my A is not equal to 0. So again, do that order stuff. Okay. So A is equal to uh, B value is 36. 36 modulus with 24. Okay. And you will get the result as 24, 36 here. 24 24 so here you will get the output as 12 okay so a value will be 12 now and b value you have to give the old value of a so what was old value of a 24 so give that here okay now again since my a is not equal to 0 yet so again i have to write a is equal to b b is nothing but 24 modulus with 12 okay so what is the result that i am going to get here uh 24 modulus okay 12 so 12 to the 24 right so here remainder is 0 i'm getting so here write 0 and b is going to be my previous value of uh, a so what is this to add okay so right now my a becomes zero okay so if my a becomes zero then i have to return b okay so now my a becomes zero so simply return gcd of gcd of 36 and 60 as 12 okay so this is what i'm returning right so now after that what we have to do here this is my numerator and this is my denominator okay so i have to just divide it with the this value 12 
okay so now what is the result that i'm going to get here i'm going to get three and here i'm going to five get five okay and i can't reduce it further right so this is going to be my output okay so we have to just calculate the gcd and after calculating the gcd we have to divide it with the my numerator and with my denominator denominator okay so simple right this is what we need to do okay so this is how we are going to write this expression in the reusable format now so if you just divide it so here 2 30 here uh, 18 will come then again i divide it with the 2 then here 15 will come here 9 will come then i divide it with 3 here 5 will come here 3 will come okay so this is how we are doing right so simply we have to i'm saying that simply calculate the gcd using this equilibrium algorithm okay and after calculating the gcd value just divide it with numerator and numerator you will get your answer okay so this is what we need to do in the end okay so this is the, going to be last step once we get our complete result okay once we get the complete result we will do that okay so here also if you just apply like this only okay g by 2 we are getting so here uh, a is directly 0 so my b value is equal to 2 okay so gcd of 0 2 is going to give me 2 so 0 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 2 this is what i need to do so here i will get 0 here i will get 1 okay so this is what i'm doing okay here here okay so now see this uh, expression uh, 3 into 2 i need to do here okay in the bottom and here above 1 to 2 minus uh, 3 into 1 okay so total output that i'm going to get here minus 1 by 6 okay this is what I, i'm doing here okay so that is going to be my output okay so simple right so here uh, i have shown you how we are going to calculate the jcd using including an algorithm okay and how we are doing all that stuff okay so now let's understand how we are going to solve this problem okay so let's take uh, example number 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 okay let's take this example so initially uh, I am going to take my numerator as 0 and denominator I am going to take it as 1. Okay, so it is nothing but denominator of the resulting fraction. Okay, so once this is done, then my i is going to start from this position. Okay, initially my i is equal to 0. Okay, so here this is nothing but one string. Na. This is string. Okay, so this is one index, this is one index, this is one index. Now I have to run one loop. Okay, start my i is starting from this point. Okay, i is starting from 0. Okay, so I have to run one loop until my i is less than the length of this expression okay this complete expression what is the length, total length okay so here i have to run one while loop okay expression length okay so here uh, inside this uh, i am going to take my current numerator as zero and this is nothing but my current numerator and i am going to take my current denominator as zero okay inside this while loop okay and after that i am going to check for the sign okay so what is the sign here right now it is minus okay so if my sign is negative then i am going to operate this let's say this is one boolean is negative variable okay so i am going to operate it as true okay if the sign starting sign is negative okay then after that i am going to move my i to the next position okay so now my i is at this position okay so here i am going to check if i is less than my expression of length okay and character is digit at this position okay so if this character is digit then uh, I have to convert it to value. Okay, so what is the current value for this one? This value is one only. Okay, and then uh, I have to update my current numerator as this one. Okay, this one. Okay, then after that there is one divide symbol, so I I am going to just skip it. And after that my i is at this position, so this is again one character. So now uh, what is the value of this uh, denominator two? So I have to update my current denominator to two. Okay this is what i need to do okay once this is done then i have to find my overall numerator and overall denominator okay so how i'm going to do that so simple so my numerator is going to be numerator into current denominator plus denominator into current numerator okay so here like this i'm going to calculate okay so my numerator initially is zero and denominator initially it's one okay here so here it's zero it is one okay and here what is my value of current numerator two and value of my current numerator is one okay so what is the result that i'm going to get here one only okay here one more thing okay so is negative was set to true is negative was set to true okay because this is negative now so what i'm going to do if it is negative okay if my is negative is negative okay it is true then whatever the current numerator i have i have to multiply it with minus one okay so one into minus one i have to do okay if it is negative so here i will get minus one okay so this is going to be my numerator minus one and denominator how i'm going to calculate denominator so simple what is my denominator uh, old denominator one okay so denominator into my current denominator so what is my current denominator two okay 
current denominator so here uh, one into two okay this is what i need to do so i am getting the result as two okay so overall my numerator and denominator as of now is minus one and two and this is correct right minus one and two okay then after that again we are going to proceed then my i is going to reach at this position okay and now is negative value is not two okay okay again i'm i am running in while loop now okay so this part is calculated this part is completed okay now again when my i moves to the next position okay again my current numerator and current denominator both are set to zero okay again current denominator and current denominator both are set to zero okay then after that i am going to check for this uh, expression okay this is positive okay so i don't need to do anything is negative will remain same then after that my i reaches to this one okay so this is character so current denominator is going to update to one and then i am going to skip this divide symbol and then my i reaches at this position so i have to update my current denominator as two okay this is done now once this is done i get my current denominator and current denominator then after what i need to i have to update my num and de denominator okay so my uh, uh, numerator or numerator value is nothing but minus one now right so here i let me just write here it is minus one and old denominator value is two okay okay so this green color is for step two okay this green color is for this part now okay for this complete part i'm actually doing okay so here but see what's going to happen and current denominator now value is two and current denominator value is one okay so here minus one into two minus two plus two okay numerator will become zero overall okay so this will become zero okay let me just remove this so denominator or uh, old value is two okay so here i'm writing two and current denominator is nothing but uh two so two into two is nothing but four okay this is done this is new value of my numerator and this is new value of my denominator okay then after that my uh, i proceed here okay this is plus symbol so is negative is not going to be affected and again i set my current numerator and current denominator both to zero okay so here uh this value is one so my current numerator will become one then my i reaches here i'm going to skip it so then my i reaches at this position my current denominator will become three okay so one and three so here my new current denominator is three okay so i am writing it with white pencil okay current numerator is one right and old value of numerator is zero and old value of denominator is four okay so plus four into one okay so what is the result i'm getting in the numerator part four to four okay and old value of my denominator is four and current denominator value is two, uh, three okay so here four into three is nothing but twelve okay so this is what i'm getting so now uh, numerator is four and denominator is uh, twelve okay so now i have to do the gcd between them so if i do the gcd okay so how we do the gcd simple formula okay so 12 modulus with 4 i will get my output as 0 so okay this is nothing but my a and my b will become nothing but previous value so i am returning 4 here okay so 4 okay so here 4 divided by 12 okay so here uh, just divide with 4 divided with 4 you will get the output as 1 by 2 by 3 okay so this is what i am doing here so for this example you see my output is 1 by 3 okay so now let's start the coding okay so this is nothing but my example number 2 and initially my i is set to this index right i is equal to 0 so first thing that we need to do here we have to set our numerator to 0 and denominator to 1 okay and my i is equal to uh, 0 initially right then after that i'm just going to run a while loop and inside this i'm just going to write while my i is less than uh, this is my string okay so let's calculate the length of this one so here int int n is equal to expression dot length okay so while my i is less than n okay so my loop will be executed so inside this but i need to check okay so let's do that so first uh, my current numerator okay current numerator value i'm just going to take uh, this value as zero and current denominator i value that i want uh, in the starting is zero okay then after that what i need to check i need to check for the any sign okay so right now this is negative right so i'm just going to create one variable and let's name that variable as boolean is negative and I'm going to set it uh, initially it is false by default okay so okay so now first thing that we need to do here we need to check for sign okay so if this is nothing but my expression string right if expression dot care at this particular index is a positive or a minus this is what we need to check right so here I'm just going to write if uh, expression dot care at index i is equal to okay, if it is negative okay or this is going to be case okay if expression dot care at this particular index i is positive okay these two are the cases right 
so I have, we need to just move my eye to next position okay this is what we need to do okay so initially my eye is at this position then my eye is going to reach at this position but if it is negative so here I'm just going to write one more thing if expression dot caret is negative then in that case just update this piece negative value to true okay that's it okay so I hope that you guys are clear till now okay so this is done then after that we have to do few more things okay so first let's try to build the numerator okay so initially my eyes at this position so okay so i have to build the numerator okay so global value of this numerator okay initially value that i took is zero and denominator value that i took is one initially okay and now my current numerator is nothing but zero and current denominator is nothing but zero okay as of now okay so now after that i am going to build the numerator so how i'm going to build the numerator so here i'm just going to run one while loop and here i'm going to check if while my eyes less than n and and okay expression okay so just check if the current, current character is digit okay so here i have to check like this correct character dot is digit okay and inside this i have to pass my expression dot caret at this particular index okay so if this character is digit okay then in that case what i need to do okay this is what i need to check okay okay so here i have to calculate the value first so i have to convert this character to value now so how i'm going to do that so from this character i am going to subtract this okay so then this is going to give me the value okay so int value is nothing but expression dot character at this particular index minus zero okay so this is done then now i have to update my current numerator is equal to current numerator into 10 plus well okay then i have to just increment the value of my i right so here why i am using this uh current numerator is equal to current numerator into 10 plus well okay so simple meaning now nah? see here i'm using this line okay so let's suppose my numerator is like this my numerator is like this 13 okay so what i'm going to do so initially my i is going to be at this position then my i is going to reach at this position okay so when my i is at this position at this one so initially my current numerator is set to zero okay so zero into 10 plus value okay this one so this is nothing but one okay so i'm going to get one okay then again this while loop is not finished because uh, the next character is again digit okay so then my i reaches at this position okay then again now my current numerator value is one from last time so here one into ten plus the new value okay new value is number three so i am getting 13 as numerator okay so that's a simple purpose of this part okay this is done then if the value is negative okay then i have to just update my current numerator to negative value right so here i'm just going to write if is a negative okay then uh current numerator into minus one okay this is what i need to do okay current numerator is equal to current numerator into minus one right okay this is done then after that we have to skip the next character okay we have to skip this so to skip this i'm just going to increment the i value okay i have skipped this then after skipping this i need to take this into consideration okay i have to build that denominator now so again i'm just going to copy this paste it here so here i'm just going to check by i is less than uh, n and capital is digit okay then i have to calculate the value okay and then here inside of instead of this new num i have to write denominator okay so den okay so let me just update this so this should be den and this should be den okay done okay and then after that uh this is done then I, I, we have to add the fractions together using the common denominator okay so now after that i have to just update my numerator and denominator okay these two values okay so how we are going to do that so simple formula that we need to uh, write here is nothing but uh, num is equal to numerator into current denominator plus current numerator into denominator okay so this is what we need to do here so here a uh, num value okay so current numerator from last part is nothing but here that if i just modify it okay this was minus one okay and this was two okay so now what i need to do numerator into current denominator okay multiply these two i will get zero then plus denominator into current numerator do that minus one so i will get minus one so this is nothing but my new numerator okay so i have to update this to minus one now this is what i'm doing here okay and same way denominator is nothing but denominator into current denominator that's it okay so here denominator current denominator is two or denominator is one so one to two is two so i have to update this to two okay then after that uh after that, oh, this is going to be set to zero again. Okay, all this set to zero. Okay, since we are done with this part. Okay, so here my uh, while loop ends. Okay, this while loop ends here. Then again, my i move further, and again I am going to start from this process again. Okay, 
all that stuff I need to. Okay, so in the end, I will get one numerator and denominator, okay, which is going to calculate the complete result of this expression. Complete result of this expression, okay. So what I after that, we have to find the greatest common divisor, okay, GCD. And then we have to simplify the fraction. Okay, so how we are going to calculate the GCD? So I have already explained that, right? Each GCD is equal to math dot absolute. Okay, inside this, let's call this method find GCD. Find GCD. Okay, so inside this, I'm just going to pass my numerator and my denominator. Okay. Okay, and once this is done, we get our GCD. Then I have to update my num as num divided by GCD. And I have to update my denominator as denominator divided by GCD. Okay, this is done. Then we have to just return the result in the form of numerator divided by denominator, right? So like that format. So here I'm just going to write return num plus this is how we need to return our result, right? Plus denominator. Okay, that's it. And now let's create one uh, method GCD. Okay, so private int uh, find GCD and inside this just pass my numerator and denominator. Okay, int num int denominator. If my numerator is equal to zero then I have to just return my denominator okay and here just return this again again uh, find dcd and my new numerator is going to be denominator more or less with numerator and my new denominator is going to be my numerator okay that's it so now let's uh, run the code and see if there are any code issues so all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted right and if you just see the time complexity for this one so since we are iterating over all the elements one by one okay we are passing all the characters in my expression string one by one okay so here time complexity is going to take is o of n okay and gcd we are actually doing it just once so overall time complexity is going to be dominated with this expression okay since we are running n time so okay so i hope that you guys are able to understand this problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in the comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing with you guys in the next video